Hi guys, I'm Mr. Donovan. And I'm Mr. Mark. So today we're going to show you how to do a paper flashlight craft um, to be able to see what you drew on a sheet of paper. So basically the idea is to create something like this. So we can see the little critters and the flat or the flowers. And Mr. Mark created a little map here. Pretty cool. Well, I'm, I'm actually new to this, so I'm really excited to do this. And I've only done it once. So I guess I'll have to teach Mr. Mark as well as teaching you guys. <laughs> um, basically all we need is some markers, any markers. Um, black construction paper, um, some white paper, some scissors, and sheet protectors. But if you don't have sheet protectors at home, you could use a Ziploc bag. Uh, basically anything clear that you could stick a piece of paper in between. Um, so yeah, we're going to get started. We're going to start drawing some scenes on here. Um, I'm planning on doing a forest. Um, and I think I'm going to draw like a small little neighborhood. So we're going to go right into that and start just drawing our pictures. We might start with the black. Let's see. So why did you want to do a city, Mr. Mark? Say it again? Why did you want to draw a city, Mr. Mark? I don't know. I think I'm going to draw like a BGC neighborhood. So we're, so kind of like our club. So we're around like, you know, the park and everything. So I think I'm going to draw something where, you know, kind of like the BGC area and then kind of have like the neighborhood and everybody playing and living right next to the Boys and Girls Club. I think that'd be pretty cool to draw that. Sounds pretty cool. <laughs> now I got to get the yellow. I'm just hoping mine comes out when I do that for the end result. <laughs> I'm sure it will. So we are using regular markers, but if you have Sharpies at home, they tend to work a little better. Because they don't smear. And it's coming out so much better too, with the markers. So basically, if you've never done this before, um, the idea is just to create a scene that maybe you'd want to see at night, and if you were outside with a flashlight, you'd light up and see some things. So um, in my scene, I am thinking in this tree, I'm going to maybe put an owl or some eyes in the, in the tree knot, and then maybe have some animals just wandering around on the grass. That way when we use the flashlight in the end, and we'll show you how to make the flashlight on the paper. Um, you'll put the white piece of paper with the flashlight in between, so then you can see all the colors that you can't see once we put the black craft paper in between. Boys and Girls Club here in the Inverness Club, so I'm drawing like the ball field right next door. <laughs> I'm sure some of you guys at home miss that. Oh yeah, football games, football games. It's actually coming out really cool. What are you doing, yours? 
hope the flashlight makes it look cool. <laughs> Anytime you're doing this at home, you can add as much detail or as little detail as you want. It's really up to you. Obviously, if you have more time, you can do a lot more. So for this one, I did decide to do a forest because the time before I've done one that looked like an ocean floor. So I put sand and water and then all kind of little critters and then I basically lit it up with a flashlight and, you know, showed all the little animals. I think this one's coming up really cool already. I have to put the BGC symbol so then we know that's the club. <laughs> I like the way you make it kind of like a map. Yeah. So it's our BGC neighborhood. I always feel like singing whenever we draw. Shooting. Oh yeah, mm. I'm almost there. I think I got it. Just gotta draw more people, make it look more populated. <laughs> Okay, just about done here. How about you, Mr. Donovan? Mm, yeah, it looks like I'm just about done. That looks awesome. I think I'm a little jealous now. <laughs> Mine doesn't look like that. <laughs>
got my drawing done, so now we're going to go ahead and make our flashlight. Um, I mean, you can make your flashlight look like whatever you want. Just remember it has to have a beam that um, when you stick in between the sheet protector, you, I mean, I mean, I'm going to go halfway. Um, and then make it whatever shape you want, whatever color you want. Um, just leave some white, that way you'll be able to see whatever drawing you just made. So, I'm going to go ahead and get a black and draw a flash. I'm going to follow you since <laughs> this is my first time. <laughs> so, we're going to draw a flashlight however we want. Doesn't have to be perfect. straight beam. Okay. So I'm going to leave a lot of white, but I'm just going to kind of show that there's a beam just so we can get the idea that this is a flashlight. There. So when you make yours, you can make it however you want. As cool as you want, as decorated as you want. I've seen some with people using glitter or, you know, like a really thick cardboard, whatever you want. So then we're just going to cut it out really quick. So we can hold our flashlight. Now that we have our flashlights, we're going to take our black construction paper. Let me put this down. Black construction paper, we're going to slide that in between the sheet protector. Or if you're using a Ziploc bag, you can put it in between the Ziploc bag. But the idea is to hide the color that we just made. So basically, our scene looks nice and dark now. So now we're going to take our flashlights, and just like if we were to be exploring it in real life, when you slide it, you'll be able to see any... Oh, that is cool. See, the way I did it is if, it's, if I was like a superhero, if maybe if I was like Neighborhood Watch. <laughs> <laughs> At least you can make out all the streets. Yeah. And the Boys and Girls Club. And we'll be able to see some flowers. I mean, if you did an ocean at home, you'd be able to see whatever little critters are about. Um, That's really cool. And again, you don't have to color the whole thing. If you leave, like Mr. Mark did, is some white area just with your critters on top, you'd be able to make it out just as cool. So, that's how to do a paper craft. So, have a great day, guys. Bye, guys.